Welcome to Church of the Chair, where Bachman equals dark. I'm your host, E, and today we're raging out on a long walk because of road work. So we're running, man. In case you're new around here, I need to give you a warning. In this series, I will be spoiling all of Stephen King or Richard Bachman's books. So, if you haven't read them all, I suggest you click away now. You've been warned. Today, we're talking about The Bachman Books by Richard Bachman or Stephen King, whatever. Let's move on. So how do the Bachman books tie into the Stephen King universe and the Dark Tower series? Let's get into that. Now, of course, all of these books were published separately way back before this collection existed. It This collection is comprised of Rage, The Long Walk, Road Work, and The Running Man. And The Running Man is the only one of these so far that has gotten its own adaptation. On top of that, Rage was unpublished ages ago because of a school sh shooting which involved a young man who had a copy of Rage by Richard Bachman in his locker when it was searched. Ever since that incident, Stephen King has kept the book unpublished. You can still find versions with it in it. This is one, and this is one, and this is one, although I believe this is a UK edition. And this is one. All four of these, I guarantee you, will have Rage in it. And if you see this version of Rage on sale on Amazon, don't buy it. It's a bootleg copy of the original version of the book. It's been scanned. It's not good quality. Really cheap. It's just like any other Create Space or independent publishing quality so yeah definitely stay away from that i have a whole video on the channel about it resurfacing and i believe it's called rage resurfaces i believe i will try to remember to leave a link at the end of this video with all that out of the way we're going to start with rage and there's only one thing that connects rage to the stephen king universe and the dark tower and that is the town of harlow Harlow, Maine is mentioned. Moving on to The Long Walk, the main character in The Long Walk, Raymond Davis Garrity, if you add up the letters in his name, it equals 19. And as my buddy Patrick mentions time and time again, a Miss Petrie is mentioned in The Long Walk. There's also a Miss Petrie that is mentioned in Gerald's Game, Salem's Lot, of course, Mark Petrie's mother, Cujo, and the last three Dark Tower books, but the reason why Petrie pops up in those, Wolves of the Kala, Song of Susanna, and the Dark Tower, is because he's referencing Mark Petrie from Salem's Lot. Now on to the third book in the collection, Roadwork, where the Mangler is mentioned. If you don't know, the Mangler is a short story in Stephen King's collection, The Night Shift, that ties into the Stephen King universe in odd ways, but we'll get more into that. It's mentioned in other books as well, but we'll get more into that when I do my Theorist Redux video for Night Shift. The term off the beam is used in Roadwork also, and Stephen King does this in the books that do not obviously tie into the Dark Tower, such as Gerald's Game and Misery and a couple other ones. Last but certainly not least, we have another instance of the number 19 if you want to reach for it, and that is Interstate 784. If you add 7 and 8, that's 15. If you add 4, it's 19. I know it's reaching, but King has brought up multiple times how if you look hard enough, there's a 19 in all of his stuff. The final book in the Bachman books is called The Running Man, which was made into an absolutely hilarious popcorn B-movie flick. Actually, it was probably more of a big budget thing back in the day because it had Arnold Schwarzenegger in it. Um, King doesn't like Arnie as uh, the main character, and I don't blame him, but I still love the movie for what it is. And our connections there are in The Running Man, Derry, the town of Derry, Maine, is mentioned. This book came out at a point where King was already getting comments about how much Richard Bachman was ripping off of his style. He would get letters, he would, it would be brought up in news interviews and all that, and listening to his stories about it are, are pretty funny, so I'm thinking he slipped in the dairy there at the end. The dairy there. Sorry, it sounded like I said dairy air. The dairy there at the end. 
just just to give people you know the uh the validation that, that you know they needed that he was actually Richard Bachman and it came out either shortly before or shortly after the book was published. One connection that I never hear anyone talk about that I brought up in my original theorist video for The Running Man is that Co-op City is where the majority of The Running Man takes place and Co-op City is the same place where Eddie Dean tells Jake to go during a dream sequence in the Dark Tower books. I don't know why nobody talks about this, probably because Co-op City isn't that original of an idea and King might have just repurposed the name, but I don't think so, especially when you think about Derry being mentioned. I just, I feel like King was trying to point out that there is a tie-in, I believe it's in the Wasteland. Um, it's definitely in the Wasteland because it has to do with the house that comes alive and that's where Eddie Dean is trying to get Jake to go so that they can pull him through. So, but, but still, I want to ask you guys, and this is going to be the, the only question for this video is, do you guys believe it's the same co-op city? And if so, do you guys think that there's a thinny in co-op city, you know, with that house? And I said in the original video, wouldn't it be cool if the thinny in co-op city is the same thinny that Pennywise came through when he crash landed here millennia ago? Uh, I, I brought it, I went into more detail in the original video. You can go watch that if you want to, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm itching to know what you guys think about that. Cause there were no comments on the original video about this theory. So let me know what you think down there in the comments, but that's all the time I have for you today. I need to know from you. Did I miss anything? Do you have any corrections of anything I said in this video? Or do you have any theories about how any of the Bachman books in this collection tie into the Dark Tower or the Stephen King universe in general? And you don't have to bring up Blaze or Regulators or Thinner. We'll be doing a separate video for each one of those. But until next time, I'll hail the chair. Now let's see. Uh, go down to the comments after this video has been live for a while. Go down there and look for Pat Costin or Patrick Costin. And I'm wondering how much I missed. Probably quite a bit because he has several comments on the original video. But I wanted to do this video without that because he has some theories of his own that he's mentioned before. I don't want to take that credit for him. So definitely check out the comments in all the videos really because Patrick Costin uh, is pretty much my fact checker. Uh, he points out all the times that uh, certain phrases and things are used in Stephen King books so yeah and you can go give him a follow on YouTube and all that stuff he's a really good guy uh, and I appreciate all of his help with these videos so I'm sure there's gonna be some stuff down there because the long walk is his favorite book of all time I believe and he's read it even more times than I've read it I think he's up to like 21 or 24 or something like that I'm sure he'll let me know down there but anyways I'll talk to you guys later bye